Hello friends, welcome to my tutorials of hybrid automation technologies. This is Vilas Patil here. Today we are going to learn about uh, ONS, OSR, OSR bits, one shot, one shot rising and one shot falling bits. First we will uh, learn about some theory. One shot is nothing but a, uh, it, it is a pulse generating bit. Okay, when we trigger the input, when the input is going to be at that time only it generates a pulse. Its symbol will be like this here. Okay, uh, and address can address for this can be v uh, three colon zero by zero zero by one like this. We can specify. And next bit can be your OSR bit, OSR bit, one shot rising. It is also similar to the ONS bit, but it consists two uh, addresses for this. One is for, for storage bit and one is for output bit. V3 colon 0 by 0, 0 by 1, we can specify any bit, but uh, different for output bit. Okay. Now here we have taken a V3 colon 0 by 0 for a storage bit and for output bit V3 colon 0 by 1. Okay v3 colon 0 by 0 indicates the status of input if the input is high storage bit will will also be high okay when we uh, at that same instant only the output bit that is v3 colon 0 by 0 0 by 1 uh, will be high for microsecond only means it is a pulse okay uh, and next is osf bit one shot falling bit okay here you can see the input and output waveforms when we trigger the input the output is also output is off in off condition when we release the input at that instant only it generates a pulse and its pulse duration will be in terms of microsecond and address for this also same as a uh, OSR bit okay now we will go for the simulation here for simulation you must install uh, RS Lynx Classic, RS Logix Emulate 500 and RS Logix 500 software in your system. Okay, first we open this RS Lynx Gateway, Classic Gateway and uh, configure drive. And next we will select a SLC 500 emulator driver here and click on add new. And we will give a name or you can leave as it is also. Okay, and uh, we are keeping this uh, uh, station number 200 only. Now it is in running condition. Now minimize this. Now go to RS Logics 500. Create a new program and select a PLC and click OK. Now uh, for simulation, we have to create a program using uh, first of all, we are taking a new run. This is for parallel branch, run branch, normally open contact, normally close, output bit, latch, unlatch bit here. Okay. Now here I am taking one input uh, normally open contact and ONSR bit, ONS bit and one output coil here. Okay. Now for this uh, I am going to specify one input address. Just I am pressing I and press enter continuously. And in description I am going to uh, put a description that is input. Okay. Now for ONS bit we are taking uh, binary address that is v3 colon 0 by 0. Okay, this is our uh, bit here and this is our output bit. O colon 0 by 0 here I am taking and I will name it as output. Okay, now for simulation first of all we have to verify project and verify file and click on save and i'll name it as a ons osr and osf okay after saving open the rs emulator and open this and open the saved program from here okay now we have to specify the next station number that is 01 i will minimize this now Go to Tools, Options, System Communication, select the driver type here. 
MO500 and click on who active here you can see the station number that is 01 and click on ok apply yes ok now go to online and save changes yes ok now click to run now you can see here just observe the output when I trigger the input here at that instant only the output is going to be high for microsecond but it is not visible to you okay okay now you can see here it is just blink now okay when I release this you can see the output toggling of output okay now we'll see about uh, the next bits go to offline now i will take a next trunk here again i will take one normal open contact in ons not ons osr i will delete this and drag this one and drop before the normal open contact okay here uh, for storage bit we have to specify the next binary address that is b3 colon 0 by 0 is already taken here this is our storage bit and this is our output bit okay here i am specifying the v3 colon 0 by 2 that this address is same as the output bit here okay now i will take one input again here next input for OS, uh, osf also we have to take one next address bit we are specifying here just to observe the output we are taking this uh, bits here ok now what we have to do uh, verify file verify project okay we can't keep the run empty so i will take one output coil here okay now you can see the b3 colon 0 by 4 output is high this uh, open contact normally open contact is going to be closed and it, uh, it energizes this coil similar to this OSR is also going to operate now verify file and verify project again we have to save this now go to emulator click halt close and again open the updated program this is the program here again I am going to specify next station number that is 0 1 again go to online run the program ok you have seen the ONS bit here now we will try the OSR bit here ok when I force on the output bit is going to be high for microsecond only that bit is triggering this normal open contact and this coil is going to be energized here Okay, now you can see here force on. You have seen, uh, just observe this bit here, it toggles. You saw? Okay, now OSF bit. When I trigger the input, okay, 
it is not energizing this coil but when i release the input when i remove the force it activates the coil here okay now it just toggled again you can see a force on force off okay force on force off okay these are the operation of uh, ons osr osf that is one shot one shot raising one shot falling uh, pulses and blocks thank you friends thank you for watching my tutorials and keep watching my videos and please subscribe to my channel uh, thank you for watching